They used to support on them as a huge kind of frame made of gold to capture the attention of the sun. For the sun to get into its temple exactly through those windows during each 21st of June and 22nd of December. Being as the main reason in why we can say that it was called as the Temple of the Sun. Something you must know, this is that actually that the word Inca, or really the real pronunciation, which is Enca, means the son of the sun. And this is why they should get him dressed with a lot of gold in order to reflect, to look, to shine like his father, like the sun. And each piece of gold they could find here on earth, oh my god, was like a sacred remain of his father fertilizing the lands. So that was the symbolic value that gold had for them. Symbolic. Not a monetary one, not an economical one. It was ah. like a remain of his father in land. Okay. And after their most important people of Machu Picchu, as the representatives of the king that used to live in Cusco, died here, just for them at the bottom of the Temple of the Sun, they have built their royal funeral tomb. With some niches just because they were very few. <coughs> Not to say that why the squares are shock marks on these walls. Doesn't really have letters or numbers because these walls are still original. But they were made in order to see if these walls are still sinking, moving, separating, just in case.